Okay, for starters, we're going to go into our Windows system, and uh, I'm going to configure our router to not broadcast the SSID. Uh, our default IP address for our router is 192.168.2.1. Uh, yours may be different depending on what model of router you're using. And go into channel and SSID, and we're going to change our SSID to something that we be able to notice. So I'm going to change it to invisible. And then channel is on 6, and we'll go ahead and turn off broadcasting the SSID and see if it. Uh, go ahead and apply the changes, and then I'm going to restart the make sure that those changes do take. Okay, and confirm that. And once we've done that, we will go ahead and switch over to our backtrack system. Let's see if we can detect the network that's not broadcasting the SSID. So go ahead and go into a console. And I'm going to do some real quick uh, interface management here, uh, just dropping the interfaces I don't need. and enabling the ones that I do uh, you shouldn't have to do this on your system it's just cleanup that I prefer to do okay and then for starters we're gonna go ahead and do okay got my interfaces set up uh, an IW list WLAN 1 scanning um, WLAN 1 may be different depending on what interface you're using uh, and that should give us a list of what networks are currently available. Uh, if you look at this first one, it'll show you what the SSID on a normal network that is broadcasting the SSID will look like. This one says CL on it. Uh, and scrolling down, we're looking for something other than that for our one that isn't broadcasting. Um, whenever the SSID isn't broadcasting, it doesn't mean that the actual network isn't broadcasting beacon packets. It's just not broadcasting the SSID with those beacon packets, so you'll still be able to detect it with this scan um, and here we go here's our network and if you look at it see how this is something completely totally different than an actual listed SSID uh, just a series of X's zeros and slashes uh, and so this is our network as you can see it's on channel 6 like ours is and so we want to take note of what channel the networks on and then we want to copy the MAC address and then go ahead and go back down here and we want to set our interface to be on the same channel as the network. So we're going to do an IWconfig WLAN 1 and then channel 6. And then we're going to do an Airmon NG WLAN 1 start. And that will start. Oh, sorry. That's, uh, that's going to be an Airmon NG start. Yeah, it's it's not in there, as you can see. Um, so it's going to be Airmon NG start WLAN 1. Uh, Got to get the syntax correct on these. Uh, and then that'll create our monitoring interface. And as you can see now with the IF config, we now have the Mon0 interface created. And that's our monitoring interface. Uh, turning our wireless interface into uh, promiscuous mode and then do Wireshark AND and that'll open up the Wireshark GUI interface and this isn't actually necessary um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you what uh, our standard um, broadcast packets look like so you can see what an SSID broadcasting looks like uh, so we'll go ahead and do uh, WLAN.ADDR equals equals and then F's all the way across. Um, if you're not familiar with it, that's the uh, broadcast layer 2 address. And as you can see with each of these going up at the end here on the right side, uh, it actually lists the SSID equals. The ones that you're seeing that say SSID equals and there's nothing out beside it, that's my network. The rest of them, as you can see, are showing up. Now what I'm going to do is uh, put an exclamation mark at the front of that, and that's basically collecting all packets that are not being broadcast. That's a, a negation identifier, and then uh, use a conjunctive statement here, so and, and, and then we'll do uh, WLAN ADDR equals equals, and then we're going to specify our MAC address for our wireless access point, so we can go ahead and paste that uh, as we copied it earlier. and. Now this will uh, basically give us all traffic that isn't broadcast traffic since we know that our broadcast traffic isn't showing us our 
SSID for our network since it's not broadcasting, and uh, then any traffic that's going to or from our wireless access point. And uh, then the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, send a broadcast DOF packet spoofed from the MAC address of the wireless access point. Um, so that's going to be an air replay ng, and then it's going to be a dash zero to specify the uh, deauth attack, and then do 1,000. That's a uh, how many you want to send out. I usually just send them until it happens. Um, and then uh, dash a, then the MAC address, then mon zero. And okay, I did okay. Now a lot of times, as you can see right here, it'll tell you actually what you need to include if you do run into any errors and it tells us here how to actually force it uh, by entering a da or dash dash ignore dash negative dash one and that'll as you can see that'll force the uh, the broadcast packets the deauth packets and then if you look over here on Wireshark you can see and there it is invisible um, basically what that does is it knocks off any any systems that are currently connected to that network so they have to reconnect to the network in order to do so they have to send uh, probe requests and in the probe responses from the wireless access point it will include its uh, SSID so if you are trying to find out the SSID for a system that is not broadcasting that's the way to do it and that pretty much concludes our video